Good morning, mga lalabs. Hello, world, and maayong buntag Pilipinas. Excuse my very pale face. It's very pale because I didn't put anything, even a lip or a powder, mga loves. Our mummy from Gold Coast arrived yesterday. So she's going to um, look after the girls while mummy and daddy will fly or stay in Brisbane for the, um, for the surgery and for recovery. So it will be a week before we get back. So this is the very first time that the girls, mommy and daddy, will be separated. So we're what well, we're sending the kids to school, and then at yeah. twelve will be our flight. So we won't be able to see the girls when they get home this afternoon. Now we're inside, inside the uh, airport. Airport. Where they fly the plane. The local, local airport. Domestic. <laughs> Domestic airport. And we're waiting. While we're waiting for the departure, we're going to have something to eat because we're pretty hungry. And if I wanna grab this opportunity not to eat a lot, because actually at twelve o'clock I have to start fasting for tomorrow. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. 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 Welcome to Brisbane Labs. We are in Brisbane. And where's the train? So we're going to catch a um, train to our hotel. Attention. One on the travel lane and always hold the hand. Throw your luggage and be ready to push the trolley. Brisbane is big. <laughs> okay, let's go. Buy some tickets. Come on quick! Six minutes now. It's it's waiting for us or what? Can we go here? Oh. <laughs> First time, sorry. <laughs> So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. I don't know yet. We'll know more when we get out. Surrounded by big buildings what we, that we never see in Cairns. Uh, hotels. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's just all buildings. Very tall building. I didn't even know that. He booked. He booked this hotel for us. Now we're here in Brisbane, mga lalabs. 
And we are here in Mario. Mer Meriden. Meriden. <laughs> Meriden. Meriden. Um, hotel accommodation. It's pretty pretty high building. So this is the accommodation that Daddy booked us. But look at that the view. That's nice. See, yeah, I got an office. The kitchen. So this is the kitchen where Dad is going to cook. Yeah, I'm while not cook anything. Mom is. Mommy will be in the hospital because, you know, I'll be staying in the hospital and this is going to be daddy's accommodation. He's got fridge, empty Nothing's fridge. in it, right? <laughs> Not much in there. But look, coffee maker! Yeah. Coffee well, that's maker. a good idea. Can make yeah, some coffee. I feel like coffee now. Microwave! Oh my god. So daddy can really cook, eh? Hey? But the amazing view. Look at the view. Look. At the view. Look at this another view. We can see the river. Oh, That's yeah. the Brisbane River thing. And then little dining. We've got TV. And I know this is washing. There you go. Okay. So I can We've do got my washing. A dryer where daddy can wash my undies. Toilet here, sink, toilet, and the bathtub. Look at this daddy bed. This would be your recovery bed too. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, this is a bad side view <laughs> because <laughs> you see only the building. Yeah. So guys, if you do until until here in this bed, if you do until until the other people that lives in there across there can see you do the until until. What's an until until? Do you feel scared? Nah. Yeah, he just can't help. Who's scared? I'm not scared. What's Daddy having for dinner? Oh, he doesn't know yet, Nanny. What am I going to do? Sit here and just wait. It's Daddy's day off. So what will happen is tomorrow I'll be going to the hospital, of course, with Daddy. But Daddy has to come back here. So he'll be staying in this accommodation for maybe a couple of days. Maybe around three to four days until the doctor will give me a clearance to leave the hospital. Good morning! Hello world! And maayong buntag Pilipinas! I've heard po that, you know, um, there's another typhoon in the Philippines. Um, keep safe mga lalab. Um, it's not really a good year in Philippines, even here in Australia. But all we can do is just, you know, we'll just pray. And we'll just have to be uh, to make sure that everyone's our loved ones are safe so we are still here in Meriton in Meriton Hotel and Lalam's mga panga today is the day so actually I just woke up I didn't and didn't really have a good night last night because um yesterday I had to take this um it's a powder. It's um, for preparation of the bowel for the surgery. So I, I was fine for the half day, but last night I couldn't really sleep because I think I stayed in the toilet most of the time. Yeah, so around 12 o'clock today, mid noon, we uh, it is the day. Oh, is the day. So looks looks very quiet, is it? Eh, that's down there. We went for a walk. We went for a walk last night over that way there. Yeah. Hui! Get up! Yeah. 
Yeah. And a glass of water because two hours, two hours prior to surgery, I won't be able to drink anything. Are you nervous, mummy? I'm not. Really? I'm used to it. I'm still always getting nervous, even with my appendix. I was wondering what's going to feel like. I'm gonna, I was wondering in the, six hours' time, I'm going to be feeling. <laughs> Drugged out and in pain or drugged out, sleepy or dead? You know, of all the days, today is Friday the 13th. Oh, no, don't say that. I try not to bring it up. Well, it's the date. Friday the 13th and you're going in for surgery. I try not to bring it up, Daddy. All right, sign your life away. (laughs) So this is my life. Friday the 13th, you're going in for operation. Daddy, where's the wood? Knock on wood, guys. No, that's not wood. Oh. It was three times. That was three, wasn't it? That was three. No, hopefully everything will be fine. Of course everything will be fine. We have magic magician doctors here. So we're on our way to the Marta. We're just waiting for our Didi. She's in the hospital now, so I've got to wait about four, I said, up to five hours before she's taken from that ward and then taken across into the mother's hospital. So my plan is I've got to find my way back. I've got to do some shopping. I think I'll go for a bit of a walk anyway on the way home and head back to the hotel. Got a breakfast now, it's still a bit light, it's still a bit dark. There, got bread. Good morning, mga lalas. Maayong buntag, Pilipinas. And hello, world. So I still feel like I'm groggy from the medication from last night so the the surgery went well Um, it took for the doctors to do it for I think for four hours Um, it finished I think it finished around eight eight nearly nine in the evening last night and after that I just all I can remember is I woken up already in this room and I still feel groggy, but it's kind of normal. But the pain-wise, it's all good. All that I'm feeling constantly is the pain above my abdomen and my shoulder. It's because of the gas, because they had to pump gas inside my belly. And Daddy hasn't seen me yet, because when I finished the surgery, it's already 8 o'clock and the cutoff of the visitors in the hospitals is 8 o'clock and yeah, I'm hoping to see the doctor today and discuss if I could just discharge today and just stay and recover in the um, hotel Morning everyone! Today is... Uh, well, it's the morning of the day after mummy's surgery so I haven't been in to see her yet because the surgery went a bit longer than expected 
and uh, by the time she came out and uh, the, the the visiting hours were all shut, so I never got a chance to get in there. But she but she did call last night around midnight, and <coughs> um, according to her, she sounded good. Everything seemed to go all right. So I'm just about to. Um, I'm thinking I might grab a scooter and and scoot in there. I've got a 3k walk if I don't, so it's either way I catch an Uber or I walk there. It's an easy walk along the river. Um, we'll go and see her visiting hours are about to open. Uh, open soon. Okay, so I kind of decided against the scooter because the one I was looking for was not there. For some reason I couldn't find it. So I'm going a bike. There's a little bit more room anyway to put stuff. So let's get going. We'll go and see mum. by yourself here. It's nice and cosy. Oh, it's very hot. I'm sweating. How you feel? Just tired? I'm good. No, I want to go out. Now? <laughs> and go home. I don't like staying in the hospital. It makes me feel, makes me feel more sick. Yeah. Because all you do is lying down. Well, fingers crossed you're out tonight. Everything's all good. We're just going to wait for the doctor, and the doctor will tell us what had you know what happened. By I've heard that they remove my right ovaries because since that's the one that's really bad, and because the doctor said yesterday you're only thirty-seven, so you're too young to be taking um, maintenance for hormones. So we will mm. try as much as we can to save at least one of your ovaries. So since the left ovaries is not that damaged, but it had it had um, cyst, so they had to remove the cyst. But the right the right ovary is gone. But yeah, we just wanna know what really happened. There's actually lots of people inside the surgery yesterday. Lots, I'm sure they'll come in soon or sometime around lunch. It's a very high tech year, isn't it? And we've got no stand. <laughs> stand. You can actually live stream here too if you want. Hey, lunch time, mga lalabs. So let's order a meal. That one. Okay, so we want the main meals. Hot choices. I would like a Asian stir fried chicken and side dish. Let's have some steamed rice, of course. Dessert. Let's have some brownies and soups. Let's have some beef consomme. So that's our order. Review order. That's our order there. And let's place our order. Place order. <laughs> Have some lunch, love. Looks yum too. Mm. The rice is the best. Did matter. you get coffee? No. You got no coffee? No. Um. So we had the three surgeons came and um, discussed what had happened last night. So they said, uh, yeah, it took them four hours and a half 
hours to do things and it wasn't really that easy it was quite um, difficult for them to do it's just because it's complicated complicated but everything went well um, I'm very happy really. and they're happy I'm happy um, so they've removed the right ovaries and disease they've left a very little amount of ovary which is the um, left side just because I'm on my 30s and I still need 10 years of ovaries that are 10 years of hormones so they left a little bit so they've removed my uh, they've removed the two um, um, the fallopian tube two fallopian tube they've removed it they've removed the wound they've removed the cervix and they shaved the um, what do you call the one? The bowel. The, the bowel, the rectum, which is actually good shaving than having a resection. Yeah, so everything couldn't have gone really any better. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Visiting hours is shut. Bye. See you. She gets let out tomorrow, so see you in the morning, see for, you your, in the morning. for your release. Bye! Sleep tight! <laughs> Alright peeps, let's go. Visiting house is over. <laughs> it's one o'clock. <laughs>